And this is where intuition comes in. Mm -hmm. To me, intuition is huge in the workplace. And that's why uh, you know, intuitive leadership is one of my brands. And you know, a lot of people think that intuition is very mystical. It's not. We're born with it. We all have intuition, every single one of us. And when leaders listen to their intuition and allow their people to listen to their intuition and understand how to merge the practical, tactical, and logical with the emotional, the energetic, the spiritual, and the intuitive, you start to create a rock solid foundation where people can truly trust their gut and lead with confidence, competence, and credibility. And I find that those organizations that are so stuck in the practical, tactical, and logical, their people aren't really happy. Uh, there's no heart in the organization. But the moment you step into the emotional and the in, in the intuitive, you start to get the pulse. You start to, you know, hey, it's the pulse, the pulse, the heart, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the, the pulse of the organization and you start to see what people really want and need. And that is huge. And to be able to trust your intuition and not fear being laughed at because you are really, really good at listening to your intuition and guiding your teams to success. The best companies in the world, the, some of the most famous uh, people that we know use their intuition every step of the way. As an inventor, Tim, you mentioned that you're an inventor. As an inventor, how often do you use your gut that leads you to things? It may, it may not make sense, but you know what? I'm going to do this. That's well, intuition. 